I can feel it. Yeah, it's a physical game, and so far the numbers show that they've got the edge on the glass. Blake kicks to Barnes. They grab their own miss. The edge stolen by Randall. And out of bounds as the Hornets gain possession. And so it's Charlotte with it. Four-point game. Blake dishes to a follow. Barnes passes to a flight. And Diaw kicks to Jefferson. Okafor with the ball. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. Six seconds left to play in the first. Here's Morris from downtown. And he gets it to go. Now it's a seven point Nugget lead, and we reach the end of the first quarter. Nuggets lead by seven. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports as we get set to get going once again. Hey, during the break, players getting a chance to refuel and hydrate with some Gatorade as there is more basketball in store. And from what we've been watching, guys, with the Nuggets, uh, what are you seeing out there? It was a pretty solid first quarter for this club. They limited their mistakes and really took advantage offensively. You know what? I like what I've seen from them on the other end, forcing a few giveaways. That's um, excellent pressure and good activity with the hands. Darrell Wright is up there with Jeff Adrian. Then there's Kent Bazemore. Then there's Calderon. And it's Jefferson in at the center, filling out the middle. So that's who Charlotte starts the second one. Morris. Morris Diaz checked in for Jefferson. Fareed, a screen on Calderon. Felton dishes to Fareed. Morris passes to Felton. And the three ball is good. Felton's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And that's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Here's Baysmore, and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Well, Steve Kenneth Fareed really raised in the game. There, there's so many great stories when he was young. Uh, he was challenged by his family in so many ways on the basketball. Yeah, the story goes that his father once dunked on him and said, never let anybody do that on you again. And apparently his mother told him they'd, they'd never pass him the ball unless he was tough enough to go get the rebound. So, uh, tough love, but apparently it worked. Hornets trail by eight. Right from outside. It's rebounded by McLemore. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. You got that right. I mean, he'll do it from three-point land or anywhere on the perimeter, really, because he is a deadly shooter. You've got to do a better job defensively. Goes up again. Here's Chandler. And it's going to be two free throws. True contact on the shot. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Now, they didn't waste any time getting into a groove out there. They're dialed in from long range. You know, one other thing that's clear is how well they're burying their jump shots here in the early going. Al Jefferson has checked in for Jeff Adrian. And then for Den Green, he's checked in for Marcus Morris. Rogic comes in for Ben McLemore. And Ty Lawson subbed in for Raymond Felton. No good on the second free throw. And you talk about Fareed's upbringing. His mother, a high school basketball star in her own right, was fighting for her life against the autoimmune disease of lupus. She demanded that he battle just as hard on the court. And you can't discount that in driving Fareed to his greatness. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brooke. Doris, over to you. Well, Kevin Al Jefferson, a veteran leader, and he's changed the Hornets locker room. A former coach, Doc Rivers, said, you know the people in your life who just bring sunshine? That's Al. He brings it wherever he goes. 
And guys, Big Al said of his young teammates, I don't talk much, but they really wanted to listen. Joy is just an easygoing guy, great presence. Thank you. And the generous spirit, too, Kevin, is Al Jefferson. I mean, in Utah, he never hesitated to mentor their young guys. Four on the clock. Plenty of space. Now, normally, that's a shot people make, but that's not really his bread and butter there. Right, left side. Dishes it to Diaw. That's good. Diaw's got 11. And Kenneth Farid ending up setting an NCAA record for career rebounds. He said he felt like every rebound was another day for his mother. And now, happily, she's doing better, and he's playing the game he was born to play. And now, here comes Wright, leading the break. Over to the left wing. And Diaw kicks to Wright. Pass to Bazemore. The dive for the ball. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. And some changes here for the Hornets. Tony Terry off. He's checked in for Jefferson. Barnes comes in for Darrell Wright. And it's a follow in for Kent Bazemore. The drive by Green. And it's a defensive three-second violation. Denver shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. And you look at the numbers, guys, uh, this team shot a 73% clip over the course of last season. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. I tell you what, I can't argue with the result, but a little unnecessary to go to the off-balance shot there. Well, the Bobcats then, now Hornets, might have been a little bit late to the analytics movement, but that's going on in the NBA all over the place, and they're full-time on it now. Yeah, they're all over it. Last season, they had a half dozen of their staff devoted to analytics. And here is Green. Morris Diaw getting it to go from deep. Off target on the 15-footer. Poked away. Rogic again. It's cold. Oh, oh, are you kidding me? That was a power yes. punch right there. Oh, great. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it clicking. It's really explosive. High octane for sure. Oof. And turning defense and pressure into offensive opportunities. That's what it's all about. Some changes for Charlotte. Al Jefferson's checked in for Turian. Jeff Adrian comes in for Boris Dia. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Jose Calderon. Out to the wing. Here's Jefferson. Cannot hit. Chandler with the defensive effort. Now he was right there, but the defensive pressure forced that miss. Well contested. That really made it a tough shot. Back to Green. Outside for Lawson. Let's it go from deep. It's rebounded by Sharp. Jefferson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Blake dishes to Jefferson. The shot is off. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Fareed setting the pick for Dragic. He got right to the cup using that screen. Chandler's got five points so far. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. I agree. They need more energy in the post, maybe some double teaming. You've got to get their defense in gear. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. Well, the main thing is they haven't allowed many second chance opportunities. That is always going to allow you to maintain your lead. Lock at six. Jefferson with some nice deep. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. A follow. That's good. 
He's fortunate that shot found the bottom of the bucket. It wasn't the highest quality look. Here's Chandler. Aaron Afalo picking up that last basket. Shoots from the block. That's an example there, guys, of contesting the shot and corralling the board. That's really all you can ask of a guy at that end of the floor. Here's Jefferson. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Up high and down hard with the one-hander. Got a little extra force for that one, didn't he? You know, yes, I think he's hoping to kind of get his teammates going a little bit, fellas. Now, here's Green. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Yeah, that's a low percentage shot right there. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, he's got to be thinking out there a little bit. Make the pass in that situation. Don't force a bad shot. The Nuggets leading by eight. Steve Blake, such a solid point guard. He has started at times in his career. Excellent backup. But you just love his decision-making and his ability to make shots from the perimeter. He's killing them with his poor shooting. The defense is more than willing to give him those shots now. And that'll be Denver as it goes out of bounds. Nuggets retain possession. Marcus Morris has checked in for Denver. Lost in the pass to Dragic. Floats one. And he gets the bucket. Dragic has got four points this quarter. And Steve Blake, not one to really press the attack off the dribble. Especially as he's aged and gotten older, he's more content to run the offense and then shoot the three. A better fit on a team with a good post score is Steve Blake, where he can pass it inside and then space the floor. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Boris Diaz checked in for Jeff Adrian. Wright comes in for Matt Barnes. Kent Bazemore is checked in for Aaron Aflala. And it's Calderon in for Steve Blake. That's the third straight make off an assist. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here the last few possessions. Outside Dragic. Here's Morris. No good from outside. He continues to struggle from the field. But luckily for him and his team, his teammates have been able to pick him up and get the job done. And right, here we go. And D out. It's the Jefferson. Major League big boy throwdown right there. And it keeps a tight grip on that rim after the finish. And maybe that'll give this team a little bit of their edge back. Here's Dragic. Here's Fareed. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's on L. Jefferson. Yeah, the defender raped all over. Pretty plain and simple. Got him good there. For Denver, they have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. You know, the Denver Nuggets had a ton of injuries last year. It's hard to say exactly where this team could have ended up if they were able to stay healthy. Calderon to the basement. Diaw dishes to the basement. It's good. The assist that time from Diaw. Bazemore has got six points in the quarter. Well, you knew the run would come, and here it is. They're playing well now, trying to get back in this thing. Yeah, pretty good comeback effort here. Uh, rolling along nicely, and they've got themselves within striking distance now. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. 149 left here in the second. Baysmore passes to Jefferson. Jefferson drawn the double team. Baysmore misses. As you said, Denver last year, injuries took their toll as four different players were shut down for the season. Now here's Dragic. He's got 12. Fareed is in. 
tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that when he wants to. Yeah, you know